All right, good day and welcome. Okay, round two, the dream team. Here we go. Uh, question for you guys. How is the quickest way to fill up the memory bank on your GoPro Hero 7? Make gun videos. <laughs> okay, so we're going to compare two technically target rifles. One's a target varmint rifle, I guess we'll technically say that is. And I have been busted. They now know. This is the same one. Uh, but anyway, uh, I don't normally have these. Uh, both uh, firearms are safety checked, just so you know. So, for all my gun, fellow gun Nazis out there, don't worry. I'm as much as a, a safety Sally as you are. But this is my new Savage Model 93R. Uh, 93R17. And it has a void stock. I've got basically the... This is what I like, is the... The adjustable cheek rest you got i guess basically three layers of adjustment and all the adjustment is just by you, you put whoop there you go uh, get that back up or i won't look cool i want to look cool for my friends uh, i don't have many friends but maybe it's because i'm not that cool but anyway there's a notch well i'll show you it comes right out you can see that each notch is basically uh I'd like to have one more notch on there, but uh, same thing with our length of pull. It's just basically notches. This comes right out. But when you're storing it, you just press the buttons. Everything goes back in. No problem. Uh, here's your safety. So that's fire safety, whatever. Uh, 10 round mag. Zombie Slayer Green. Nice little small bolt. Now, let's look at this big beast here. This is my Savage model. Hopefully I had this on the right angle. So there's my zombie green. There's, there's our 17 HMR bolt. I don't know why they got the bolt cut like this, but it, it's kind of weird how they got it cut there. But they, they got it cut like that. Hopefully the hopefully I'm not too close. Hopefully I got the, the uh, footage right. But anyway, there's a kind of small. It's not the smoothest of actions yet. I mean... Uh, Gonna oil up this gun a bit, give it a clean up, get it ready. Haven't shot it yet. I'm looking forward to that. This I've shot just over 500 rounds out of this over the years. All almost all reloads too. Uh, Berska six and a half to 20 by 50. Tasco six to 24 by 40. For a varmint rifle, I think 40 is more than fine. This is 308, 17 HMR, and they look so good, but. Here we go. We got two bull barrels. Now I'm gonna grab. I'm because I want to make. I want to keep the videos relatively short. Uh, just to show you the difference in the bull barrels. Now my rifle that I got rid of for that one was my eh, uh, Remington model uh, VTR 597. Now the VTR 597 had a bull barrel as well. But we're going to look at the differences. So I know on my Savage, it's a 998 ball barrel. It's a full ball, full ball barrel. Target crown. This one has a target crown. I don't think that one's as thick as that one, but pretty darn close. Maybe it's just an optical illusion. Mind you, this is a 24-inch barrel in 308. So we're going to go with this one first. So we see this is a 110 twist. I don't know what the twist rate on the 17 HMR is, so... Let's see what we got here. Uh, we are looking at. Uh, oh wait, I've got something wrong here. Look, zero. Okay, let's try this again. So we're gonna go. This barrel is. eyes are so bad in, in this low light is 0 0.940 but but anyway yeah it's the 0.98 barrel basically I might not have had that and this one is uh, just a little bit smaller this is the point probably the six or seven this is you don't know the light This is an 8.803. Yeah, so it's like 
not quite a three quarter inch or uh, not, uh, it's a little bigger than three quarter inch. So this one's just about the one inch. This is just about three quarter inch. So they're both bull barrels, but again, it's 17 HMR. You don't need that kind of heavy, but that makes it light enough. That's heavier than most 308 barrels that you would normally get. Oop, my phone's ready. Uh, it's light enough that you can hunt with this thing. Now, a uh, 24 inch barrel in the back. This is, I believe is 21 or 22. I don't have a tape measure. I'll have to measure it out later if I want to get more exact. Um, but the really cool thing about this is, is it's made in Canada. Yes, Savage. These are both Savages. Yes, uh, they both have Accu triggers. I got the key on so you can't see, but they both have Accu triggers. Uh, and Savage, Savage is an American company uh, that bought out a company called Lakefield many, many moons ago. And Lakefield, Ontario is where they used to make Lakefield 22s and shotguns. And the Lakefield 22, well, is the very first rifle I ever bought in my life was a Lakefield 22, which I still have to this day. And I want to do a video called uh, My First Rifle, The Movie. Yeah, My First Rifle Story, The Movie. <laughs> uh, but uh, these are looking pretty good. These are looking, the only thing I don't like about these scopes, is, well, this one, it's a cheap scope, so, you know, you live with it, whatever, but it is good for the money, is I don't like the parallax adjustment on the front, um, and I'd like to have that little thumb nut for the, for the optics uh, zoom, that'd be nice, but this one, one thing that's cool about this one is that it has a... Uh, target turrets on it so it is a target varmint rifle but it's not a full like those, those you wouldn't want those in the rain now this scope has been through everything that scope is less than a year when did i get that two years ago what did i get that for what did i trade for it i traded something for it what did i trade for it uh i think some reloading equipment i don't really i <laughs> however i got it i got it i know i got it from bob i just don't remember what we traded um but yeah so obviously for hunting this is just way too heavy that's about a 12 and a half pound rifle this one i don't know what it weighs but it's probably under eight pounds or right around that maybe not maybe it's a little more but it just doesn't feel that heavy so that's something that's really cool now when i get out to the range next I am going to basically dial this one in and that one I'm going to basically, I'm getting very close to my final uh, loadings to see. I mean, when you're reloading, you're always, you know, tweaking something, but I'm getting very close to uh, honing in onto my magic bullet for that one. So once I get the most accurate bullet out of that, that will become my dedicated target rifle. I might drop a deer with it. This will be my varmint rifle for now, unless I eventually, like I say, I was looking at a guy's 223 today. I don't know if he, and he's looking for a 17 HMR. Mind you, this, this one, I want to shoot it a little bit before I get rid of it, you know. Uh, but if I could step up to a 223, uh, I'd rather have that than the 17 HMR for, you know, many obvious reasons. Um, but if I had to keep the three, uh, three choices, uh, 308, 223, and a 17 HMR would be really good. But for any preppers out there, I would say go 308 and 22 or 308, 223, and 22 uh, before the 17 HMR. Just because of the availability of 22. Um, depends on what you're using it for. I'm going to be using this as a coyote gun. It's a little too heavy of a caliber for uh, trapping. Uh, even if you were putting down wolves, uh, 17 HMR would make a disaster of them at close range. Uh, you wouldn't want to do that. So, uh, if you want to keep the pelt anyway, uh, but yeah, this one's really cool. Laminated stock. I love these laminated gray and the, the zombie slayer green, <laughs> as it's called. It does again have a, a changeable, you could change this out. You could change this out. You could change this out. Uh, it's a Boyd's stock, so Boyd's are usually pretty expensive, so uh, very nice target thing. I'm going to, like, this is all flat, like, as a hunting rifle, like, uh, this is a hunting stock here, nice and round, right? Um, this is flat. This is target. Uh, the idea behind this, which I'll show you at the range, because 
Uh, but the quick explanation is you put your thumb here or here and you just basically pull it back like that. Whoop, if you don't drop it. Um, where this, you're hunting, you got a full grip on there and then, you know, whatever. Uh, you can see it's, it's, it's more molded like that. So this is better for somebody hunting. This is better for target. In fact, this stock would be awesome on that if it could fit, but it obviously not the same action sizes and stuff like that. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys that. So there's my two new rifles. Plus this is going to come in handy. New Codwell sled. Um, I never shoot that thing off the bipod. I just mainly have it there for aesthetics and for doomer purposes <laughs> but uh if you're going to shoot off the bipod you have to practice shooting off a bipod but i'll only do that after i've got my most accurate rounds that's a non-swiveling bipod but i still got to keep the strap uh on my trade that i did for this one uh, i traded the swiveling bipod for that but i mainly shoot off the sandbags for that but from i will be shooting off of this a lot now just to see it, because it's just easier to adjust for your elevation uh, when you're target shooting, what am I doing for time? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go over time again. All right, anyway, I'm gonna leave it at about that for now.